All right, so we're going to find the area of a portion or a sector of our circle. Now, I'm not going to give you, I'm kind of going to give you a formula um, like I gave you with, with the arc length, uh, but I want you to think about where it's coming from, and it's not like you have to memorize it. You just have to remember the concept, okay? So the area of our sector is going to be equal to, we're going to find the area of the entire circle, so pi r squared, that's the area of the entire circle, and then we're going to multiply it by the ratio of what portion of the circle it is, okay? So if I ask you, you know, here's a quarter of a circle, what's its area? Well, you'd find the area as if it were a whole circle and you'd multiply it by one fourth, okay? So, um, say it's not as cut and dry as a fourth, say it's of a 80 degree central angle, so we're going to multiply it by the angle divided by 360 degrees or 2 pi. It just depends on whether it's in degrees or radians. Okay, so this is the ratio of the circle or of the sector. Okay, whatever your angle is, you're going to divide it by 360 degrees to represent the entire circle in degrees or 2 pi if it's in radians. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples here. Let's say that our radius is 4 meters and our angle is, mm, let's make one up, let's say 125 degrees. Okay, our radius is 4 meters and our angle is 125 degrees. So we're going to find the area of the entire circle, so pi times the radius squared, so 16 pi is the area of our whole circle. So the area of our sector is going to be 16 pi times 125 over 360. And we're just going to type it all into our calculator. It does not matter what mode you're in. Okay, the mode only matters when we're actually using the trig functions. Okay, so 16 pi times 125 over 360. You can put that in parentheses if you want to. You really don't have to. So the area of this sector of the circle is approximately 17.453. Remember, we always need units. If we're dealing with area, what do we do to our units? Squared, okay, because we multiplied, you know, the radius times itself, so we have meters times meters, so our area is going to be in meters squared. <coughs> All right, so let's say they give us the diameter is 12 yards and theta is 280 degrees. Okay, our diameter is 12 yards and our angle is 280 degrees. What do we have to do to find the area of our circle here? Yep, we've got to divide the diameter by 2 because our area formula is pi r squared. R, we don't have r, we have d, the diameter, the radius is half of the diameter. So that would be pi times 6 squared. So 36 pi is the area of our entire circle, but we're not talking about the whole circle. We're only talking about 280 degrees of it. So 36 pi times 280 over 360. Plug and chug. And we find that, why did I say theta? That's not theta right there. Sorry. That should be area. Area. My bad. Our area is approximately 87.965 yards squared. Now, just in case you're given an illustration of this, let me uh, just kind of sketch out what we're talking about here. 
if I've got a circle um, and we're talking about 280 degrees of our circle, then we're talking about like we're talking about this much of our circle being our sector. Okay, so that's about a 280 degree slice of the 360 meters actually a little bit too much, but I just wanted to get the idea. Okay, so it's most of the area of our circle. So if we multiplied out 36 pi, we would get uh, about 100 or so, 113. Okay, 113 is our total area. Uh, so it makes sense that our area of our sector is, is pretty big because the total area is 113. It should be fairly close to that net. Okay, uh, let's do one with radians. Let's say that the radius is seven centimeters and theta is, um, let me go with 10 pi over seven. So theta is 10 pi over seven. So just as an illustration, 10 pi over 7, 10 over 7 is a little bit more than 1. So it's about like this. Okay, this is how much of the circle we're talking about. So a little bit more than half. So if our radius is 7, then our area of the entire circle would be 49 pi. 7 squared is 49, 49 pi. And since I've been trying to... Encourage you that that is approximately 153.9. Okay, I'm only writing that down so we can compare our final answer. Okay, I don't want you to use the rounded part in the problem, but I just want to be able to compare our answer. So the area of our sector is 49 pi times 10 pi over 7 over 2 pi. Okay, now you are going to need to use some parentheses here. So 49 pi, you don't need to put parentheses around that. Times, we do need to put parentheses around the 10 pi over 7. Okay, just put one set of parentheses around the 10 pi over 7, that's sufficient, divided by 2 pi. And, whoa, hang on. That's not, that's way too much, right? <coughs> oh, that's not right. 49 Maybe I'm not putting parentheses in that place. Oh, you know what? I bet that's what it is. I bet I do have to put parentheses around the two pi. Okay. There we go. I just need parentheses around the two pi. Problem solved. So our area is approximately 109.956. And 10 pi over 7 might be bigger than I thought. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, area of the sector, very easy. You just find the area of the whole circle and you multiply it by the um, degrees over 360. Whoops. I'm doubting this for a second. Hang on, let me convert 10 pi over 7 to degrees. Why did I divide up? Okay, hang on. 10 over 7 times 180 divided by 360 times 49. Okay, that's right. Yep, that's right. All right. Um, with radians, you just got to make sure you put parentheses around. Okay, make sure you put parentheses around when you've got radians. Um, so, area of the whole circle times your ratio. Degrees over total degrees in a circle. 